TVE TV. <laughs> um, excited is my good friend Lauren. She's also a comedian. She does lots of stuff everywhere. She's very funny. She was a bartender, so she, you know she has really good material. <laughs> well, am I li what am I? Chop liver? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. My mom's here. Thanks. Oh, Thanks. That, Hello, this, everybody. This lady popped me out of her goose seat. Right out of the and, birthday um, game. Yep. Sorry, kids. Um, <laughs> that's, you were going to find out sooner or later. Um, and she just got off the plane, and we drove here, and we popped a beer, and we ran over in our gorgeous studio, not my garage, to talk to Lauren. <laughs> wink, wink. Thank you for being on time and punctual for me. If only the fellas would do the same. So that's just Southern women for y'all right there. We've got three blonde Texans on the line. Who else yeah. is not popping their Thursday to tune into this? I mean, this is where you're supposed to be, right here. That's on Lacey TV. Lacey TV. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I love that you have your cervezas. <laughs> I've, I've got a little matcha beverage here because you know this Texan doesn't drink anymore. Wah, wah. I know, my, my last guest didn't drink, but I was specifically asked not to act like a crazy lush on the show with him. That was big cask. Hey, it says XL. That's who I was talking to. But it, you know, it was also at 11 a.m., so it was probably a Okay. Bit. Oh. Since so I had to go get What time there. zone? <laughs> what time zone, though? He was Eastern. I was here. I mean, I always okay. tell my husband's two o'clock somewhere, um, but he. Was uh, it used to be five. Now it's two. <laughs> During the pandemic, it's two. It's also five. I don't know the world. <laughs> two, two here is five on the East Coast. So yes, that that does make sense. So what time yeah. is it right now? Um, eight o'clock. Oh my God! It would be yeah. time if I lived in New York. I know. I, I get I get a little uh, jet lag when I even just go to Texas. I like need a day to recalibrate. Is that Me ridiculous? Too. Just two hours ahead, and I I'm yeah. like maybe it's because I just don't want to interface with my family. I'm like just give me a minute because I know I'm going to be here all week, and this is going to be not the vacation I hope for. But you never call a family trip a vacation. It's a commitment. Yeah, an obligation. It's like the There's no vacation. Yeah, you don't say you're babysitting your kids. You say you're watching them. You don't say you're going on vacation with your family. You say yeah. you're obligated to go spend time with them. Oh, I am. I am missing my family. <laughs> my mom's my best friend, but she does. She does have like jet lag when she comes in because she's always. Like, we are party animals, so much fun together. We go to casinos. We do everything, like, my husband doesn't like me doing together. We get in trouble. Yeah, a lot. I've witnessed this trouble. <laughs> I have had a front row seat to it. It's so funny, Lev, because every time I see you, you're together, which it just happens to work out that way. Yeah. Whether, I mean, normally we're in the same physical room, but I know. This, is, this is kind of coincidental because this is what we're kind of doing as, like, a tradition. Yeah, when it rains, it pours. So when it rains, one Texan, the others just follow. Yes, it's raining Texans. <laughs> Hallelujah. Pours me. Well, I am, ladies. But you've got a stout there, and you're drinking more of what? An, an, a blonde? Medello. I'm always drinking oh, Modelo. But so, some hair on my chest. <laughs> yeah, I play. Well, where's the whiskey? Let's get frisky, <laughs> ladies. I'd love to be the chaperone of this uh, live live stream right now and just watch the two of you have a have a gay old time. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should take SWE Fury's logo off of this in case they don't want to be <laughs> associated. <laughs> no. hey, we're in we're in a, we're in a pandemic. We're we're seeing the light at the end of the horizon, but we're still kind of in it. Cocktails are welcome. Uh, do you Dallasites, do you remember, I don't know if they're on anymore, but um, Lex and Terry, did y'all ever listen to Lex and Terry in Dallas? Oh my gosh. It was during my, my I did go to college, y'all. This is not a lie. When oh my I was God. in college, uh, I was all about Lex and Terry and my girlfriends would all get on that show when it was their birthday, their 21st birthday. I never got to do it, which I totally should have, but I went as a like a co-pilot companion and also a designated driver because Lex and Terry were these radio hosts in Dallas and they'd get whatever SMU girl wasted on the air on her 21st birthday and then mess with her and ask her all sorts of questions. Uh -oh. And it's just, <laughs> so, yeah, let's do that right now. I think that was <laughs> girls gone wild. <laughs> 
Well, so, on. I don't know about S and Terry, but girls going wild. Cancun. I did that. Oh, <laughs> oh, I did. Oh, look it up. It did it. Let's <laughs> have an instant replay. And I for sure wasn't of age if I did do it. Because remember Babe, when I think that that was the requirement. You weren't supposed to be. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, good. Yeah, my it's mom. Like you had my mom signed me to uh, Mexico one spring break. We'll I think never that was, forget. That was South Padre. Oh, it was South Padre. But isn't that well, like Padre? Oh, that's, that's my okay. shit. Padre, whatever. I, I didn't know where I South was. Padre. So it could have been you freaking go there all the time. So mm -hmm. I got drunk um, on Everclear at 14 years old. I had no that. idea, by the way. Yeah, I didn't really know either. <laughs> one Everclear, I didn't know what was happening after that. Anyway, I got caught in the hot tub with this guy named Hyatt, um, and <laughs> like 23 years old, yeah. And so, oh, I was my, so mad. they found me and grabbed me out of the hot tub and was like, yeah. And I was like, no, Hyatt and I are in love. And they were like, his name's probably not Hyatt, it's probably Holiday Inn. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Are you sure you just weren't at the Hyatt and you just forgot the guy's name? I think his name was Hyatt. And like, he owns the hotel, Mom. Yeah. Give him a drink. Right. He's like, it's a like, oh, uh, Hyatt. Um, employees must wash hands. <laughs> Seriously, y'all. Can you think about before this whole ordeal how gross human beings typically are? Not wash it now. I hope everyone is in the habit of it now, officially. I'm really it takes trying. <laughs> bad mama bad no joke my husband was like yeah because Lacey never washes her hands and I was like I don't yes I do and my best friend was like you never wash your hands and I was like wait I'm known for not washing my hands like <laughs> since when like I you used to be working on you good I was like shocked that everyone knew <laughs> Observing you, watching you on like a close vigil in the back. How I got cooked. Oh, there's another time she didn't do it. Oh wow! <laughs> and she's cooking tonight. I'm never oh. attention to who washes their hands. I'm see. It's because when I get out of the bathroom, I normally start doing my makeup, so I just have like poop all over my face. Ew. <laughs> I've never seen that, y'all. This girl is always looking great. Always. Yeah. Like, and I wash my hands. At least I do you know, for the last year. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have no skin left. I, they're like old lady, old lady Frida hands now. Mm -hmm. with wrinkles as far as uh, the state of Texas could go. Where's your, um, I know, so are you out here in, you're out in San Diego right now, right? Yes, that is uh, where the pin is at the moment, the coordinates. Back in North County, which is very nostalgic for me because uh, when I moved from Houston, this is where we lived when I finished out high school. So like near Del Mar, not far from the, the racetrack. Didn't where the I fair inspire you to move to San Diego? Uh, you were trying to get me back in LA. Um, but no, you did say that because I, I, may, I took a little wrong turn, uh, folks, and I tried to do this thing called real estate. Yes. <laughs> I told you to. I'm sorry. You were at my house. You were very sad about a stupid breakup by a stupid guy that worked at a stupid bar. So no <laughs> loss. Um, zero loss. And you came over and I drew you a hot bath and I gave you all the life advice I had with screaming <laughs> kids in the back. I'm like, see, you don't need anybody. Like this might happen. And... <laughs> Then you're like, you're right. And you moved to San Diego and you got your place and you were doing so well and you were doing real estate. But then you went, whoop, and she's a yep. comedian. <laughs> yep. The, uh, the true inner being, yes, was finally revealed. Uh, I hope that happens for everyone in their lifetime because you only get one. Whatever's gnawing at your insides to really go for whatever it is and, and just fight that fear because what's on the other side is freaking unbelievable. And even during a pandemic, I have to credit my sobriety because there's many stages, many opportunities I really truly believe would not have come my way had I not been sober and had I not just gone for it. Um, because I, you can't do anything, you know, I was doing all these different things and Real estate was one of them, but that was to fulfill like a societal norm. 
you know, to make other people happy, like that looking good on paper, she's doing this, but I was so miserable. Oh my God. It was, it was just what propelled me. It was like rock bottom of being there of how much I loathed what I was doing that made me go for what I really wanted to do. So I think that's it. You kiss a lot of frogs. You kiss a lot of frogs. I'm not just talking about boys. Not just Cheers. bar boys. Cheers. Yeah, we're done with the bar boys. <laughs> and I I guess uh, everyone's always asked, I've had the question come, well, are you, do you date comedians? And it's kind of like that whole don't, you know. Don't date cocktails. wrestlers. Don't yeah, date don't, comedians. Don't, yeah, don't. <laughs> well, and I said, well, what's left? Because people say, don't date anyone in recovery either. And I said, well, that's my whole life is recovery and comedy. So who's left? Well, well am I? Yeah, I guess I, I got to try the lesbian thing. Oh, oh, I'm available. I'm really over I it. Know. 14 years this year. Boring. Snap <laughs> 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 out of it, Lacey. Ow! Okay, just kidding, honey. <laughs> Don't worry. He doesn't like this stuff, so he'll never see it. <laughs> he'll never see it. Yeah. My mom is just kind of starting to tune into things. Even my even my dad uh, watched a show uh, before he's only seen tapes of things that were pre-recorded that already happened, but he actually watched live. Uh, this last week. So that was uh, that was a big step, you know, that is. Um, but things are starting to, to come around again. We're we're getting out amongst the land of the living and getting, you know, shows, live shows are are teeing off. So um, I'm looking forward to a, a really big April um, be performing in Vegas for the first time. Uh, I'm so that, going. That's oh next God. Friday. Go. What, it's next oh. Friday. Yes. Wait, can I no joke, y'all. Hold on. Dang it. Let's see. Next Friday. She'll totally book Here's a flight. Here's baseball game. Right Next. <laughs> Anniversary. <laughs> Next. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Mom going home. No. <laughs> no. no, mom stays. Going back to Dallas? On Friday. Next Friday. Bummer. What is next Friday? It's April 2nd. Wait, my husband did a sad Actually, face. Actually, no, I leave on Saturday. Oh, my husband Ooh. is sad that I will be out in Texas the 22nd to the 25th. I'll be back at a home roots. Yeah. At SWE Fury doing their shows. and That's uh, awesome. Where will you be in Dallas? Where? where? I'm staying at a gorgeous four-bedroom penthouse. I shouldn't say what we hotel though, because I don't want like people to show up or something. <laughs> but I have no, a billionaire no. friend, friends of our family, that gives me his mansions Spoil. and his penthouse Spoils if her. I go out there. Spoils. And out um, here in Malibu. So you and I can stay in a 16,000 square foot house whenever you want. I'm staying wow. right here. Suddenly I'm back in real estate. Yeah. Suddenly I'm in <laughs> He's in back to the market, baby. He's in real estate, though, and builds everything. So he doesn't really need a realtor. Oh. He is a realtor, but. No, I just meant to enjoy the real estate. I don't yeah. want to sell it. Yeah. <laughs> I look I look really <laughs> spoiled. I'm with this like SWE Fury like wrestling federation. And uh you know, there are normal people staying at normal hotels, but it looks like they're putting me up at crazy penthouses and mansions when I come in town. <laughs> hey, baby. Two two beep beep. <laughs> Milk them bells and whistles. Lahaim mm -hmm. to that. Hell yeah, girl. Well, yeah, if you ever need a comic relief oh. to join the band, call her. Mom also gets me beers when she's in town. Oh, what Where a good back. little puppy. What Where a good I little have? puppy. I'm right here. I'm here the whole time. I haven't quite trained the kids yet how to do that, have you? Oh, yes, I did. Two years old. Two years old. Oh, that's yeah. right. Two years old when they're like, blah, blah. they're like, did you say you could get your own juice? Okay, you can get mommy's beer now. <laughs> <laughs> if you're allowed to have a bottle, so am I. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but we need a bottle too. And daddy needs his nipples. <laughs> no, oops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so tell me about this because I, I need like the. the I need the elevator pitch. Give me the, the 60 second. On, like what's on going SWE. on right now with this? What's SWE? Yeah, tell me. So you're going to go to Texas. Um, will you be near like American Airlines? Like this, where are they doing these uh, events? Um, so, um, okay, let me give you the lowdown. A couple weeks ago, I went to SWE Fury because they wanted to give my dad their Hall of Fame like plaque or whatever. 
It was a big honor. I was excited. It was literally right down the road from my mom's house. She said 45 minutes, but it was two hours. It's so I was. Half. Yeah, sure it was. So um, <laughs> it, it was like almost two hours. And so I was late to the meet and greet. Anyway, even though I showed up late, they decided to make me their director of media relations and give me a YouTube channel to do what I will with. That's probably not their words, and I'm just doing it anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I think they said, like, promote us uh -oh. and things like that. But I'm like, I'll just drink drink, and get my friends on here. No, you're just being you. That's promoting, and, and the attraction will come. Yes. You know absolutely. what? I haven't. I Everybody that watches this, just keep going. It's just you. It's just you. It's just who you are. And I'm like, I don't. I don't have another, I don't have another personality. <laughs> I don't, Why would you want one? There's I don't have to make something else. <laughs> She's very yeah. much like her daddy. He was a So she gets that personality from Carrie. Yeah, I was pranking the wrestlers when I was there and I would hide and I'd scare the crap out of them. Like they look all tough and they're walking and all the kids are looking at them. So I'd go, Rah! and they'd go, Rah! and I was like, you're not tough anymore, are you? <laughs> That's awesome. It was. Yes. It was really well, fun. what an honor. Gosh, that's really special, love. And and now to have this platform to continuously honor him and create awareness. Um, yeah, because yeah. this is how you do it nowadays. So, yeah, here, here. Congrats. And so right now we are on Hannibal TV as well as SWE Fury TV and Lacey VE TV. So when I'm on those other platforms, everybody – please go to Lacey VE TV and subscribe because they are giving me a leg up. They are putting these shows on their channels and they are getting way more likes and views and everything of these episodes on their channels. So go huh. to Lacey VE TV, subscribe to mine, like ours, so that I can keep doing this. Yes. yes. Yeah, and I don't yeah. have to keep staying at other people's penthouses. I can afford my own one day. <laughs> Or maybe oh, even if sure it's the nice. floor, I'm fine. <laughs> it yeah. sure is nice to stay at others because then you don't have to pay for the housekeeper or do the cleaning yourself, however you do that, which is interesting because I spent a lot of the pandemic. I moved to Mexico. Did you know that? I was living there. No. Um, yeah. I packed up the car downtown San Diego. All the clubs were closed and I was getting a little sad because I didn't have anything to do. So yeah. So depression ensued and, a friend of mine who I do comedy with, um, I'd met him at a competition uh, in the gas lamp at the old Hard Rock Cafe. And he said, let's do this online virtual comedy studio for women. And so slowly but surely, we started out with five women a year ago, a couple in San Diego, LA, Vegas, and Chicago. And now we've grown to over 30 wow. in this last year. So we've got... Like this female, all female co comedian constellation all oh, over the table. <laughs> yeah. Because um, they're all together, you get on the same cycle. So there's like oh, yeah. one week a month that y'all can't perform because they're just going to be like, well, this effing <laughs> sucks. We barely got paid anything. Just oh, leave. Oh, God, I know. That's a it's whole a show. Whole lot of <laughs> Definitely a whole oh, lot I of sleep. Pain. We're pissed. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, we're, we're going to be, um, tomorrow kicks off sort of the tour, um, which, yeah, we'll be in San Clemente, and then hopefully the fall, when, you know, presumably that everything will be open and safe and responsible. Well, I can uh, get the boat to my house, because you're going to probably, you're going to come stay here on Saturday, right? Yes, Bubala. Thank I you so much. There, but you, anyone that's my friend gets the code and can come stay. I it's going to be a mess. So all I ask is that you pay the clean. No, you don't. <laughs> no, but you could just, say, you know, put a load in or two. It'll be fine. <laughs> no problem. I can do that. So that's where I was headed. When I was living in Mexico, I was basically an illegal white gardener. Um, I was a... <laughs> <laughs> I was, uh, yeah, because that's what's happened in Mexico, man. I'm sorry. They need to put up a wall against us Americans. That's, that's what they need to do because during this pandemic, it's just got infiltrated. Everyone wanted to get out of the United States because of everything happening here and go be an expat in Mexico. 
And being lucky like we are living so close to the border, all I had to do was drive two and a half hours south. It was like the same thing as going up yeah, to L.A. That but that's like the, where the donkey shows and stuff is. That's like, what's it called? Right across the border. Where's like the, I would know. You know where the donkey shows are. Come on, Mama. You have the answers. <laughs> She's been to one. I'm not kidding. She's a liar. Well, what, what do you think I'm Tijuana. Tijuana. That's what I was thinking. Tijuana. Isn't it like Tijuana? Yeah, that's not, that's not the kind of Mexico I was. It's, it's, it's high donkey end. shows and, and plastic surgery and dental work. That's what that's what you want to do when you go down to Mexico. Mm. Yeah. Or comedy, which is what we did because I we feel like do the whole show of botched is based off of surgeries in Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> and they're, yeah. Making money. they're making money off that. Yeah. So and then you want to be the surgeon on the other end who's got to correct all that stuff. You I bet they're be in cahoots. They're like, I'll F it up, you fix it. And then yeah, yeah just don't that's, yeah. That's a hell of a partnership. That's a match in heaven. I'll be the F up surgeon. That seems like an easier job. Oh my God. I can't imagine. I can't Coming imagine. Up. Oops. Oh, I did. Trip, you want to come say hi? You can say hi real quick. Trip. Yeah, I'm trying to pretend I don't have children, but here's one now. Oh, well, <laughs> hi. Is this my bub. That's kidding. my little comedian. Yeah, look, He's camera. training. Oh, Barbie is coming too. And tomorrow's Barbie's birthday. She's five years old. Oh, Barbie. I, can't her. I can't believe it because I was holding her when she was in baby knickers. Hi, Hi. Hi. I, do oh. Oh. I do not remember you. Oh, you you know, know. Said she's the one that well, I remember you. She lost three hundred pounds, honey. I, lost. <laughs> <laughs> I went down to TJ and got liposuction. <laughs> Tijuana did wonders for Aunt Tijuana. Tijuana did wonders for me during the pandemic. The <laughs> pandemia, we'll call it. I used to have a giant saltwater aquarium. You never saw it, by you missed out. It was sucked. No, I saw it all over the house. Really? You had oh. it in your room. I think yeah. it was brand new the last time I came over. You, you were. Just got yeah. See? Yeah, he had a lionfish. He had a puffer fish. He had an eel. And then, That's exotic. Yeah. The the fish people were like, hey, it's only $25 a month to clean your tank. And I was like, oh, mm -hmm. awesome. So we get the whole tank. Well, then they're like, well, it's actually like 100 Okay, I can deal with that. No, it went up to $250 a month to clean the tank. They just kept going. So now, Trip doesn't understand why I don't want to go to that aquarium place anymore. I was like, because they're thieves, honey. Wow. <laughs> they're all thieves. Yes. They got crooks in the so, fishing business. What? The yeah. Do you still have them? <laughs> Do you still have the fish? We have four fish tanks, but they're all fresh water, and Mommy cleans it out. Mommy. So, you know, you can barely see in them anymore. They're like, is there a fish? No, no. That's I cleaned it out really good. I really did. Every now you and then, there's guy. a fish in there, but I just cleaned them out the other day, and it's disgusting. I feel like I have to shower for yeah. a Yeah. Yeah. You need, you need Deuce Bigelow. Oh, oh I know. That's a good show. I'll take yeah. it. Yeah. He's the ultimate fish cleaner. He's the good one. Remember that part? That was my favorite. I'll take the fish at the bottom. Oh, in the colder tank. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yes. So I wanted my 14-year-old, I was like reminiscing on videos when we were all quarantined for fucking months. Or excuse me, freaking months. It's okay. No one watches my channel. So I'll edit that. Um. But this will be on Hannibal's. But he is, it's going to be a delayed so I can edit. So it's great. Hopefully. Okay. I don't know. Maybe he won't. Anyway, I was like, Daniel, you got to watch Deuce Bigelow. Oh, the nanny's over here now. Come say hi. You got to take your mask off. You've been replaced? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no way. Fine. Who's the nanny? Wonder. Okay, come on in here. Say hi. This hi. is little Hi. Look at her with oh, a mask on. I know. Her. She wears gloves and a mask. And it Texas probably would is killing love you. Not. I love She's you. a very clean nanny. Oh, she did it. Oh. She did it. Like that when she wakes up with 104 fever. <laughs> hey, say hi to Bentley. 
Hi, baby. Oh, there's a puppy dog. Oh, my, <laughs> oh my God. There goes all my subscribers. They're all going to subscribe just to see Bitly. <laughs> it's Bitly TV. Yay. Oh, my pup. Wow, that's how my hair looks, typically. <laughs> so everyone was wondering, hey, how is Lacey's kids being taken care of and she's drinking? <laughs> that lady right there. Here's the proof. Right the proof. No, not grandma. Not grandma's me. my best not friend. Not she's drinking with me. No, grandma's <laughs> drinking with her. It's, this is, this is only Thursday night stuff, folks, okay? So don't get excited. I'm not this much fun. She's yes, you are. Okay, honey, okay. okay. bunny, it's live. Okay, okay. let's go. Mommy. Say bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, 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 you. Of course you can. You can have whatever oh, you want. I got vaccinated yesterday. Oh, I did. I'm oh. feeling a little woozy today. That's for sure. Um, so the second one is when it it's a doozy. Second one's a doozy. Well, that's the thing. I was like, if I'm feeling this crappy after the first, I don't even want to get the second. Yeah, um, uh, I um. We got the second one, me and my husband, and we knew from other people getting it that it was going to be bad, right? So we got the grandparents and everything to keep the kids overnight. We're like, we're getting the second shot today. So we get the shot. We're fine. It's like five, six hours. We're fine. We yeah. go to bed. No kids, no nothing. We're like, woo. We go to, we get in bed and we're both like, ow. Ow, like everything started hurting. 104 fever. Everything hurt. He had to sleep in the guest room because if I wasn't going, uh, he was. The whole time. <laughs> it was so bad. I was like, I couldn't sleep. Yeah. Or couldn't sleep. And then we were so grumpy. And it was, so thank God for DoorDash and Postmates. So if you need a DoorDash and Postmates, 100,000 an episode. <laughs> no, God, babe. I don't even know if I'm going to even want that. And I never say no to free food um, or I previously don't. alcohol or drugs, I but now food. food <laughs> is, that is my drug now. Um, I've You're even so given up coffee. You look thinner and more beautiful than I've ever seen you ever. So whatever you're doing. Love. You really, you look so pretty. Well, it's amazing what happiness can do to somebody. You no, know, but now you're you... like, tell me, what's up? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> there she is. There's my girl. See, there's no alter ego you need. No, I, I thought we had covered that already. We can go one more round. We can go one more round on how gorgeous you are. Oh, Absolutely. I'm kidding. Please don't. I want to die inside myself when people No. Do. But um, I had that one lady that like I grew up with. She's just like my best my great aunt best friend her name is carol watson in case she's watching <laughs> she was um messaging me hey i love your nose job it looks so good and i was like it does <laughs> i didn't get a nose job she goes oh honey you you don't have to are you or you can tell me are you just not telling people <laughs> no i just i didn't get a nose job <laughs> Okay, if you don't want to tell me, it's fine, but everyone already knows. And I'm like, <laughs> and I was sending this to my mom and my aunt. I'm like, I didn't get a nose job. It's called contouring. I looked up transvestite makeup tutorials, and that's <laughs> why I look like that on camera, okay? To see uh, you in the I'll morning, you this you way. Great, <laughs> you got a great schnoz. No. That's, also, that's just being a Southern woman with great genes, you know? Uh, uh, I, it's called transvestite. <laughs> Makeup tutorials on YouTube. Yes, I can subscribe. Scott, I, I wouldn't have the patience. I'll teach you how to do it. I swear to God, <laughs> tomorrow or no, next Thursday because I only like to get made up like this at once a week. <laughs> I get made up and then I drink and I'm like, yeah, I look so. And then you don't take it off because you're like, oh, I don't know if I don't feel like taking it off my face. Tonight. Yeah, my husband wakes up in the morning like, whoa, you look way better than you normally do. Yeah, I got an eyelash on the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> That's where mine would end up in my hair. I find yeah. the uh, fake, the falsies. I think it was a bug. And, <laughs> oh, it's just my lashes. Yeah, I forgot I had those on. Caterpillar. Like, <laughs> I, I'm not good at that stuff. I, I've got like Wet n Wild 99 cent lipstick on. I think I just broke the tube because I've had it so long. I don't replace my makeup often enough. I don't know when you're supposed to do that, but I've definitely fall, fallen out as a comedian. You know, you don't 
depending on your brand and what you're doing. I don't need a ball gown on stage. You know, it's, it's t-shirts and jeans and kicks and yeah, I got a t-shirt D John. It, yeah. No more dry cleaning bills for stupid outfits. Um, and then it's like that much more of a pleasure when I, when I get to dress up like that because it's more rare and it's, I don't want to say more meaningful, but special. I guess, right. um, because I, I don't, yeah, I'm most comfortable. I'm happy, but I've been going through a cowboy phase lately because of the livestock show. I love Lady. it. Yeah. Don't stop. I love the hats so much. So I use all those videos on our promo. Um, did you like my promo, by the way? I that's so that. good, dude. Seriously, <laughs> how'd you do that last minute? Because I just gave you that stuff. I can do what? it. I did it actually in five seconds at Barbie's softball practice. It's her first ever softball <laughs> practice. It was so cute. She was so bad. Um, we were like, this is going to be our athlete because she's like thick and everything like me. And she was like, this is our athlete. No, she's unfortunately, she, we Barbara. don't have one in there. Cheerleader. Um, yeah. <laughs> you don't say that. If you're not an athlete, just be a cheerleader. Hey, <laughs> no, no, you no we're going to be so much hate mail. Hey, no, I, I love cheerleading. I was both. I was okay. an athlete. Yeah, you can be both. That's I mean, right. that way you're always at the game. Yeah. Hello. And look how she turned out. Pregnant yeah. at 18. So, how? Oh, 19. Oh. 19. Thank you. 19. I, I, <laughs> yeah. I was awesome. The one, time, the one time you wanted to be older in life. Like, no, it was older than that. No, typically. It's older. don't do what I did. Yeah. But I love it that I had my babies. Young, because now look, we're best friends. So yeah, that's best the best part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you two we'll go together from now on. Rule the world. Seriously, yeah. I uh, feel like I'm myself on camera, but I'm even more myself if my mom's around. And my husband gets scared about that because I, I have a. Thank you, mom. <laughs> That's that's our term of endearment. So I only feel that like is that is not a COVID activity to lick each other. Okay, babe. We Lay off the that lady. at the airport, and everyone was like, "Don't do that." And we're like, "That's how we hug." <laughs> and they're like, "You're not supposed to do that either." Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, God. That's right. hard. That's hard for Southern people not to hug and not to touch and embrace. Oh. You should have saw the autograph signing I had in Carthage, Texas, a couple months ago. Mm. Yeah, it was out in the middle of nowhere, so no one gives a crap, and they probably don't even know there's a pandemic. Um, so they don't have the virus. No one from China went to Carthage, Texas. Um, no. Or no wherever the there. virus is from. I don't know. I'm not, polit I'm not a politician, okay? <laughs> or a scientist. I'm not either. But what, whatever. They don't think that it exists. And so I was hugging everyone. Everything. I had the virus. I also got vaccinated. I don't recommend it. It sucked. But you probably won't die from the virus. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't the vaccine. No controversy here. <laughs> Whatever you well, want to push by. Either way. Anyway, I was hugging and everything, everyone at the signings as if. And then I was like, you already had COVID, right? And I'd hug them. But <laughs> <laughs> Is that how great? Yeah, man, I'm good. I already had it. Yeah. Seriously. No, nope. I already had it when he saw. So my grandpa, he comes uh, to my mom's house. He gives me a hug. And he was like, I think I have a fever. And I was like, why did you just hug me? I'm not kidding. That's what happened. I'm like, go sit down. So he goes and sits down. He's like, ow, my body hurts. And I'm like, get out. <laughs> he stays for the picnic. We put him at a different picnic table away from everyone. And he looks all sad. So I go and sit with him. And then a couple days later, he's like, I have COVID. And I was like, damn it, Grandpa. <laughs> Big reveal. Big shocker there. Oh, wow. <laughs> no one oh, knew. Yeah. People thought I was over-exaggerating, too. Do you remember that? Yeah. yeah. They're like, Lacey's putting him at a different table and keeping him away from my beautiful grandmother that he left very long time ago. So it's weird that they were ever together because my grandpa um, only dates. 30 and younger. Oh, wow. is it that old? Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen a 30-year-old, but I was giving him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. And so... so I'm, yeah. I don't make the cut. I'm over the hill. My grandma's his age, so I'm like, oh, your ex-wife, and you can see his face like, right, my ex-wife. Like, he would never. She's way too old for him. Uh, <laughs> like, oh, grandma. Remember that movie 
this is like one of my favorites. Did y'all ever um, get fanatical about the sweetest thing with Christine? Uh, oh, I love Christine that. Mm -hmm. And Cameron Diaz. Remember oh. the whole scene with all the outtakes of the older dude? That was like, ugh, grandma. Like every time, I bet you miss grandma. Ugh. <laughs> grandma. That's exactly. <laughs> but he loves my grandma. Actually, everyone does because she's like a caretaker, really like the sweetest lady you could ever imagine. Well, that's what everyone comes home to, don't they? Right, <laughs> exactly. But Whenever so this is what I do to get back at those little gold diggers with my grandpa. They come to my house. The last one came. She looked exactly like how Mary. Did you ever meet her? Uh -uh. Oh, she looked exactly like her. Anyway, she, he did see that she had a tattoo right before they came out here and was like, what is that? And he was like, dang it. Now I'm going to Texas with it. He calls me and tells me everything. Now I'm coming to California with a girl with a tattoo. Um, oh. Grandpa. Is that literally the worst thing? 20 year olds, they're going to have tattoos and it's probably going to be a feather or a dream catcher. Anyway, so he comes out here and I tell the kids, I'm like, your great grandpa's coming out because he's my grandpa, but he's only my like 74 years old. That's so, that's fried. That's a fried chicken. I know. So I tell my kids, okay, your great grandma grandpa's coming out with his girlfriend that he might marry. So let's be nice and call her your great grandma. <laughs> <laughs> so they do. Oh yeah, they do it. They're like, you're going to be our great grandma. And they're like 22 years old. Look at my Halle Berry. Wow. Like, okay, grandma. <laughs> I just call her grandma. That's a good hey, one. grandma, let's go. <laughs> Hot grandma. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, grandma's upset again. I don't know why. It can't be me. Grandma's on her period. <laughs> yeah. Can you oh, yeah. Then? I think grandma might, great grandma might be pregnant. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, my um, that makes me think also Steel Magnolias, Dolly Parton talking about her biker son. Y'all know the movie. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Steel yeah. You're yeah. referencing well, we like met... talking to Betty White, not <laughs> my young girlfriend. <laughs> me? Well, you know that's all I do is talk in movie quotes. But that you said about the tattoos and the girlfriends coming home with the tattoos, and that's what Dolly Parton said about her son in the movie was, well, the best thing I can say about her is that all her tattoos are spelled correctly. Oh, so. that's good. No regrets. Yeah. <laughs> no regrets. Oh, that's a new one. I Every time I've ever been to a tattoo place, they said, you're too drunk. Get out. And I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank God. I'm doing oh. you a favor. Seriously. I literally lived one like door from Miami Inc. So I had like a little loft and then Miami oh. Inc. was right next door. And so I would come down like drunk and I'd go into Miami Inc. And they were like, no, Lacey. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, bye. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Well, that's that's you cannot <laughs> have. It's after two o'clock. <laughs> you have any tats? No, I'm telling you, every you time I ever that. attempted, they said no. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I'm a clean slate too. I don't. I don't. I'm a blank canvas. My mom has a tramp stamp. Show everyone. Come on, oh it'll be a me. Oh my god, tramp stamp. So tramp I got stamp. drunk one time, and Please. they did not say no this time. They did not show. We need to see it. We need to see it. There's my. Wait, can you see it? Is it a solar system? What is that? It's my fat ass. No, nah, it looks good, baby. Oh, I'm trying. <laughs> I well, need to so regret it. That's all you got. That's all you get. I'm trying. To it looks decorative. It's purely decorative. Oh, it, there we go. it was a rose. I thought it was gorgeous. Like, you know, the rose of Texas. <laughs> yeah. Um, but they didn't turn me away, and I had three margaritas in me. See? Like mother, like daughter. From where? I was, I, Deep Ellum. I was in Deep Ellum. And yeah. Coming out of one of the clubs. And um, the girlfriend I, I was with right. okay. was like, let's go get a tattoo. And I was like, hell yeah. I'm going to go get the rose of Texas. <laughs> Do you see oh why I am the way I am? Oh it, my God. Not my fault. <laughs> like looking at Doublement Twins for sure. Deep Ellum. Oh, my God. I had a lot of fun down there in college. Um, I always heard not to go because there was like street walkers and stuff. And they were like, I don't want you... I went wherever that fraternity bus took us, and it was often to Deep Ellum. There was a place called Gold Bar down there that we used to go to a lot. I bet it's not a Gold there. Bar. I brought it to all of them. Don't remember it. 
Yeah, my yeah. mom actually, okay, so I would go to school, go to sleep on my desk wake, with jail bait on my hand because she <laughs> would let me go to these fun clubs because I was out with them once. We're at somewhere. We're just day, no, I'm not day drinking. They were day drinking. The Stars players in their limo Escalade came up. The whole Stars team, okay? They came up. They see my mom and her friends, and they're looking fly, and they're like, we want y'all to come out with us. And she's that like, was in my 20s. Well, and she looks over at me like, well, my daughter's here, and she's like 15 years old. Well, then they're like, you know what? We'll just pretend she's one of our young girlfriends. So oh. they do. Hand in the back pocket, going into Mother the club, of the year award. Jail oh. made on both hands because they're like 18 or at least under 21. Wow. And I, will, I had to go to school so tired with jail bait. Like, literally, have you seen Never Been Kissed when she has a yes. <laughs> on her head? That's me with jail bait. Like, Yes. I don't yeah. remember this story. I don't know what she's talking about. That's funny because I was now just I have no it. problems at all. <laughs> That's funny because I was just going to say you were like the real life Drew Barrymore. And she's the lead in that movie because she went clubbing in her teen years really young. I went clubbing in my teen years. But then my mom's Golden. all girls Christian boarding school and it straightened me right out. And I was valedictorian. Yes. And I've owned three companies now. Well, and I'm owner of a couple of other companies. Lacey has her daddy's personality, but my grandpa's entrepreneur spirit and the love of young women. Just kidding. I'm not that part. <laughs> That's <what I'm> sure. <laughs> no. Um, and then I have you. my aunt Barbie's long-term marriage, mm -hmm. my mom's sense of adventure and fun oh, absolutely. and work ethic. You should very good work ethic. And tight butt. <laughs> tight <laughs> butt. Uh, I don't know, baby. Might be draping a little I, bit. Of I want to talk you better, but. <laughs> what are y'all going to do this weekend? Oh, you're going to Legoland. I should we'll probably not. Land. Good segue. We're going to Legoland Castle Resort, but my husband will kill me. Hashtag ad. This is product that. placement right here, y'all. Oh, he's going to get mad at me because he's like, don't tell everybody where we are all the time because then someone's going to murder and rape us. And I was like, it's not rape when you want it. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, people are into that. <laughs> Johnny Depp, I'll be at Legoland Castle Resort. <laughs> Dude, don't make I'll be right sense. back. Talk to my mom. Okay. okay. Hey, my beer's out now. Okay. Well, that's what daughters are for. Is she going to refill it for you? Yeah. Um, Another one, Jameson. Oh, we're leaving tomorrow. I still have not seen you live, so yeah, I don't even doing. have a segment of you yet of you performing. So you sent some to Lace, right? I did. So I, I did. Want to see that. I want to see that I'm for sure. Well, yes, that would be great. Uh, well, obviously, this whole last year we had to take oh, stand-up so comedy to make it sit down because it was all online. Just keep the label um, toward you. Okay. We no one will know what these are. <laughs> we would sneak. We would sneak live shows when we can. That's part of the reason I went to Mexico is because we were able to start some comedy down there. But yeah, a lot of it we had to do it the only way we could, and that was using the virtual world putting our comedy on, out in cyberspace. So that's been a treat. Uh, but I've met so many comics all over the, the world, actually. I mean, I was on a mic last night. There was a guy on from Egypt. I mean, Florida, you name it. And then it's instead of like being at a live show and you do your set and you're in the back of the bar and you're exchanging info and Instagram handles and all that, communicating with the comics that way, now it's just on, done via online. But like last night, I did a mic and talk about efficiency. Instead of me having to get dressed, drive some distance, which usually is never convenient, to do three to five minutes on stage with my name on a list, now I could just stay in my pajamas, not go anywhere, save gas money, and, and do it quickly with people that I trust, respect, and um, admire. That's people that you like. Yeah. Um, and, and spend an hour with them and then be done. And then I can make dinner at home. It's like, uh, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. And we get booked on shows based off of the networking on screen. Uh, with Mike, so it's it's been great. You know, it was it was I was resistant at first, but it was all we had. So it was like, what are you gonna do? Uh, be left in the dust? You gotta lean in because it was uncomfortable. Most people didn't want to do it because it's a new doing comedy this way. 
is no one's skilled at that. Well, no you know, one can boo you. You just press mute on your computer. Right? Oh, yeah. Well, we always love the guy that can't figure out how to unmute himself. It's like, Jesus, oh. dude, we've been, we've been on this for a year. Can you figure it out? It's not. It, the button's right there. That's why. <laughs> Comics That's why. don't like me. Like they always point. I'm always like near the front row, but for some reason, they always want to like point me out and like start talking to me. But no, I, I'm witty Casey. and I talk back, and then they're like, and they get all like in their shell. Like, wait, I haven't rehearsed for this. And I'm like, <laughs> I went to your show. I don't remember it, but yeah, the the reason I don't remember it is because I had to drink a lot. I never do that. Hold on. <laughs> I think my I never drink a lot, but the reason I did, I'm not kidding it. I've never had a comedian as a friend ever. So mm. when you came out or before you were going to come out, I was dying. I Grant was too. We were so nervous and we don't remember one thing you said. I'm not kidding. Both of us couldn't remember one thing because well, we were dying. You're so nervous for her? So nervous. Aww. Stand up. Jameson. No, I could do this all day. I'll talk all day to my little garage camera. Okay? <laughs> I can do this. An audience, like, I'm uh, <laughs> die. You know, that's usually where people get held up because people will say that all the time. Oh, I want to do comedy. And then you reach the part where you actually have to do it. And all right. Uh, come to an open mic. Now is your chance. And oh, but no, 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 I can't. I can and come up with jokes I did the other day. You want to hear one? Yeah, shoot, sister. Okay, why did everyone laugh when the little duck fell over? Because they saw his butt quack. It's oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> actually pretty funny. It's funny That's in two adorable. ways. It's funny in two ways. His butt quack like crack. <laughs> or that his butt went quack. <laughs> That's how a duck fart. We'll be here every Thursday. <laughs> every Thursday on Lazy B.E. TV. Oh, yeah. That's right. Uh, we're going to just call it back right there. But let me be clear, everyone, at the comedy store in Hollywood, which Lacey and her um, sweet husband came in attendance, you, my dear, were the one piping up that we had to put a lid on. You were just like, I'm just going to talk and I'm going to get engaged and I'm just going to, this is a two man thing. And <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not welcome at the comedy con. Okay? I think it's fun to, I'm like, Hey, that person seems really fun. Let's talk. I want to no. say hi. No, like, you know what? Hi. We're working and you're just a random drunk girl in the front row. So can you and I'm like, ha ha, you're funny. Anyway, uh, no, my, mom, my mom got kicked out, kicked out at an actual Me? show what? at the Magic Castle. Oh, yeah. I remember that. They what? kicked her out of the show because you were haggling them so much. Pick me, pick me, going crazy. They kick her out. They shut the door. You were heckling the magicians. You yes. weren't even at a comedy show. Yes. And they kicked you. Because That's it's already hard to get about. an invite to okay. go there. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So anyway, she's outside the door. He, the guy tries to continue the show. She's knocking on the door. Hey, that was funny. Okay, I'm ready to come back in. I'm ready to come in. I've been back. My, my husband and I are like, oh, my God. By the way, though, that earlier that day, my mom and I had gone to Let's Make a Deal, and we won a car. Okay? I did. I did. For real. They so we were me. very excited. They like my person. Yeah, we dressed up like tigers, and she got picked, and we won a car. <laughs> we, yeah. Yeah, we split it at the hardwood floors in my house. Right, we right, man. That oh, that's so rad. I know. Yeah. So we were very excited. We met Jack Black that night. Like, we had so much fun. And I told my mom, I was like, you're going to see celebrities and everything. Please don't engage with them. And so- what? Because it's the it's I'm the magic very... castle. They're all there. They're always there, and it's not for tourists. It's for like members. It's for celebrity guests, yes. and celebrity it's friends. Okay. She sees Jack Black, and she goes, "I would hey, no. What's didn't... your name? Just kidding. I know exactly what your name is. <laughs> Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> it's Kung Fu Panda, <laughs> isn't it? I learned this from you. Eat dumplings. I did a cartwheel. <laughs> did the splits. Oh, I'm Tigress. Wait, you said you were dressed up in tiger outfit. Mm -hmm. That's in the Kung Fu. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. theme. That's too funny. Now, we changed at the Beverly Hills Hotel, actually. We did not have a room there, oh, that's but good. I pretended to. And I we went into the nice, like, bathrooms there and changed to, like, really nice, like, gowns and everything to go to the Magic Castle. Yeah. Did our makeup and do all this stuff. It's so we come fun. out. We sit at the bar. All these very attractive men come, and they're sitting. Uh, <laughs> they're all looking at my mom and sitting by my mom. She has, like, my Chanel pearls on. I, like, and I put, like, I think I put, like, a Chanel scarf on you. I put, like, she, some, looking she looked really rich, okay? That's they are, what it was. They thought I would be a sugar mama. They were all over her. I would chime in. I'd say something, and they'd be like, okay. Mm -hmm, okay. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. she's the one with the money. Be quiet. And I was like, wait. First of all, I was just like, God, my mom is hot. Like, why is that everyone was, all over her? That was before the COVID-20. I found out that, like, the gigolo males hang out at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Oh, to get see? Paid stuff. They were very attractive. So it's not oh, me being sure. It's my money. I, I just was a little butthurt. I'm like, why does no one want to talk to me? Is it because of my marriage of 13 years? Boo. Yeah, they can smell it on you, babe. I know. It's yep. Just like sometimes they can smell sobriety on me. Like, oh, nope, she's she's sober. We, we, we don't want to mess around with that. Every time I talk, people are like, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when I get pulled over. They're like, get out. No, I just can't. Oh, my God. Well, That's I have never been to the Magic Castle, but I have been working during the pandemic with a magician from there. He lives in San Diego. Yeah. And um, his name's Derek Ostravani. Mm. Ostavon. I know Ostavon. Crow. Ostavon. Do you ever meet Crow when you're out there? He's awesome. He's actually he's supposed to have a show in Vegas before all of this. He is amazing. And he he always puts us there and does all of that. But Well, I'm dying to go. I've got some passes, some coupons. You don't need passes? I can go whenever. Well, okay. Not, well, then the second we can, that's what we're doing. a pandemic. Everyone's probably dead. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we're all going to die one day. And yeah, yeah. Just so hope. have fun today. Be yourself. Do you don't listen. Oh. I love this thing I read the other day. I uh, used to care about people's opinions, but then I tried to pay my rent with them. So that didn't work. That's right. That's you right. Best you, baby. I'm my doing baby it. girl. I'm doing it, mama. Thank you. Okay. Well, so shoot. I'm not going to see you then. We'll just. Bummer. You'll see my house. And All do right. my house. <laughs> are you taking your dog with you? Okay, what? Are you taking your dog with you? No, my um, in-laws are obsessed with our dog. It's a golden, okay. you know, lab. And yeah. they, you know, they, their marriage, I don't know, is so great. And But it's, I'm just saying that they, they probably just like someone else being there. It's just them, you know? I think that they really like being able to go on walks with something else. They like to play fetch. They like to, like, go to bed with it. Wait, we're talking about dogs or, or <laughs> men. I don't know. They like to play fetch. They like to go on I walks. let them out my dildo. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. No, it's the dog. Sorry. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of dildo, I mean, check out my new microphone. I feel like this is some private parts, Howard Stern. Like, you could start doing the... Let's see how much... How much you can fit in your mouth? <laughs> subscribe now, and she'll fit in no, her mouth. I get hundred subscribers that. right now. <laughs> I no, I cannot do that. I have, I am a ever clean, evergreen comedian now, y'all. We we, Wait, we can you're push a it on comedian. Yes, I don't yes. know how to do that. All right, tell me, tell me a joke. Tell me a joke. Tell you a joke. You told me a clean one. Come yeah, on, your Jameson. turn. Your turn. Tell me one I work, joke. I don't work for free, ladies. Sorry. I promise to PayPal you four dollars. PayPal me what four dollars? What's that gonna get me these Wait, days? Do you have checks. <laughs> no, I like the, the, Venmo, the, from the, the, Mel, the Cash App, the yeah, all of the all of the above. Um that'll work. Just give but, me one joke. You can make it oh, someone else's. Okay. My someone else's. What kind of comedian do you think I am? I'm not a joke thief. A okay. hundred and one joke book, I feel like, is free copyright. <laughs> okay. Well, so I got the vaccine, right, yesterday. And I, I was a little hesitant, to be honest. I I was on the fence. But then I heard it was a twofer. Okay. So not only is it going to protect me uh, against the virus, but also the motherhood. Because it makes it sterile. <laughs> oh, no. 
I don't ever have to take the morning after pill again. This is plan A. <laughs> no, more plan B. no more plan B. I was, I mean, you know, it's a little too late. It's like 13 years too late for me, but. Yeah, well. The you know, pandemic came too late. Do this. Damn do this and you have to get your foods tied. Now I have all these children. No, I got my husband fixed right after our third one. He was like, That's well, they asked me, I'm not even kidding. The baby's coming out and they're like, do you want us to tie your tubes while we're in here? No joke. This actually happened. And I was hey. like, first of all, this is a very emotional situation. So any decisions I make cannot, shouldn't be permanent, right? I need alcohol for that. Right? They should, should not be doctor. permanent. Like this, do you know my kids know that if I have alcohol beverage or wine in my hand, they're not allowed to ask me questions like about money or anything. They're like, can I buy this? About money. Say yes. They're not allowed. It's against the rules. They're grounded the next day if I find out. So, well, with a baby it. coming out. And so, I said, no, my husband will do it. And he was like, uh, not right now. <laughs> so he did though, like a couple weeks later, as soon as they gave us the all clear to have fun again, I was like, go chop your balls off. It's your turn. <laughs> yeah. That seems to be the trend yeah. now. It's, it's like the guys make them do it. Well, it's um, not fair. Cause like I did all of the baby stuff. Right. You I totally agree. It is. It's, and it's the least they can this do. This is the twofer. This is just like your twofer. My twofer. You. you you get their balls chopped off, they can't leave you for a younger girl that wants kids. <gasps> Booyah. Super. That <laughs> is the best. The best trooper I could ever Three think point. of. Yeah, nice. it was. It nice was very one, exciting. So Good all you evening. ladies out there that are taking an IUD or birth control after you're done having kids, chop his balls off. <laughs> Doesn't need them. Yeah. Ask him Take why that, he needs them. Like that That's shit. the question. Why do you need them? We're done. Huh? You're looking at that girl in HR? Well, not anymore. She wants children and your balls are gone. I love how you said HR. Like, because that wouldn't be the irony. Oh, all. the hot ladies are in HR. See, I'm oh, I used to be. The whore room. The whore. <laughs> uh, if, if whore started with an H, it would. Uh, Oh, honey, were you ever hormonal good? room? I like that. I have oh, one man. cute girl in HR. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. She's <laughs> off having babies. She sees that too. That's Petro, at least. That's I chopped her balls off. No, just yeah, in the company. The more it hurts. You never know anymore. That lady in HR might have balls. That's it's really. A, no one That's knows anymore who has balls. balls. This is, I, I can have balls. Uh-oh, my kid, who's eight, just came out here. He has balls. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about having balls. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't. Get out. <laughs> Why am I- Who is your nanny? Mother? Nanny Joan! So is she still there? At the plane and someone asked- Is she still here? About. Yeah, someone has to watch these children. Okay, there's this weird thing. Grandma's just on, just on Fun Day. Fun Day is Thursday. Okay. Live on Lacey V TV, where I do lots of interviews and drink and have fun and we get a nanny but on the okay. other days i'm boring and go to their games okay um there's this weird oh, thing what? that they asked you can me come on over the... here there's this weird thing Did you just that get out the ask... shower bud yeah yeah see the nanny even cleans them Good i haven't done that in weeks. This... was your bathtub brown um, <laughs> no, yeah kidding. it was very brown <laughs> I think I took, I think Barbie took a dump. <laughs> oh gosh, listen to this. We're raising more of us. <laughs> this one has a penis. Come here. <laughs> Come here, honey. Okay, so there's this weird thing that they ask you on the plane. It's when, if they ask you for nothing, I'm like, oh, I already got one. It's right here. I'm kind of bumpy. What's <laughs> And then I just show it to them, and they're like, <laughs> "Okay." And they let you stay on the plane trip. And they're like, "What?" Okay, honey, where's your nanny? <laughs> Tell nanny it's a the for a trip. Mm. Tell nanny it's twenty dollars off of whatever I was gonna give her. <laughs> wow, wow, that's off your allowance, dude. Don't mess with the the equipment. I'll buy you uh, a little seahorse tank. 
they don't they don't allow nuts on the plane anymore. That they took them away. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. 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 You, yeah. 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 you and your daddy aren't allowed on the plane. Do they have nuts allergies? No, they have nuts. <laughs> they just have nuts. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's the thing on Southwest. No more of those delicious honey roasted delights. Can't but have I only on one airline. That's so weird. I got we even opened the bag and so oh, yeah. they are doing pretzels. I got I a mini pretzel that. and a little mini water and a hand sanitizer. You can yeah, Thank that's you. what I got. I flew I like, quite where's the time. vodka? They're like, oh. drink the hand sanitizer. It's 70% <laughs> lady. Perfect. Yes. That's what I do. Supplementing. Right. You would do it too. I just forget about COVID if you just drink all the sanitizer everyone's handing out. Right. And I know. That's not what I do. She's God, kidding. Every time I do this, by the way, the whole world has to see me every Thursday now. On Lacey V TV, please subscribe. Oh, yeah. And uh, they only see me drinking and having fun. So one of these days, I'm going to show y'all a Monday. And you're going to be like, let's go back Her to contrast. Monday. <laughs> yeah. Believe me. I need something to compare it to. And I do my mom face. I can't yeah. do it when I pass. Let it get stuck like that, babe. I have a really good mom face. Yeah, like she her. does. I was grounded a lot. I wonder why. I went to prison and I was like, vacation. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't go uh, to an all-girls boarding school, which I thought was prison. And it ended up being the best thing of my life. I have to say that around my mom or she'll cry. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. I loved all the blonde nails. The she was just trying to make me a lesbian. It's better than running off with head. Fred. <gasps> Don't Fred. say that. He's probably watching this. Drop dead Fred. Your imaginary friends, Lace. Can we talk about that already? Yeah, my oh. friend Fred and my best friend. Fred. Was... Fred. Frederick. No, I actually, when I would move to a new location, I didn't have any friends, but I never told my mom and my sister. So I would just always go to Crystal's house and like Crystal was calling and that meant um, nobody was calling and I wasn't oh. going anywhere. <laughs> well, as long as you weren't doing Crystal, then we're in good shape. Ah! No, <laughs> you know they called our high school Heroin High in Plano, Texas. I know. And That's I have terrible. never, yes. never saw heroin in my life. I'm like, I did was hear that too <laughs> while I was, yeah, while I was in Dallas. Yeah. I heard that about Never, I've never seen it. Thank God. No, I guess my friends were doing it. I, oh. My friend Crystal. <laughs> and I was doing it. I guess I, I was imagine. by myself. <laughs> this explains a lot. I'm like, do you have any heroin? <laughs> no, do you? Oh, okay. I can't we'll imagine that would we'll be very good in Texas. <laughs> the drugs weren't very good in Texas. I know my gusta. Um, yeah. Well, you. ladies... I got to go get ready to, right. I, have to I have to be in LA no. in the morning. No, no, no. Um, you don't say bye to me. I say, oh, okay, we're done with our interview. Sorry, Jameson. We have to go. We're, oh, excuse me. We have other people. You're not the only one, Crystal. I mean, Jameson. You're, you're <laughs> fired. Uh, I already quit. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime the guest is like, I got to go. I'm like, no, I have to go. I like. <laughs> I have to go help the nanny. No, I don't. We're going to leave. We're going to a No, y'all should just keep partying out there. Um, but, but maybe turn the camera Thursday. It's Thirsty Thursday. And no one goes thirsty, thirsty, thirsty on Thursdays. Definitely not here on Lacey VE TV. That's subscribe. Heck, subscribe. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, even though I'm on Hannibal TV, even though I'm on SWE Fury TV, please go to Lacey VE TV. Yeah so I can keep doing this because it's so fun and I'm going to have more of my mom but I'm going to do my mom's makeup because she doesn't yeah. have any on because she just got off of a plane and she was very mad at me for putting her on camera but, but I did, did it, it anyway because what a warrior. you know, put me to boarding school so <laughs> F you, you're off the whole world gets to see you without makeup on hey, that's your punishment that, that's, that's true that's commitment, that's dedication and that's love to your daughter there but ladies it was so awesome to be here, I miss you so much Lace, so um, go. Go. tell us where to buy tickets to your next show find me, find me at Kosher Barbie Comedy K-O-S-H-E-R. Some people are like, is that kosher with a C? I'm like, this isn't a Karen situation. Kosher has always been spelled the same way. Okay, don't call <laughs> me. Okay. 
uh, Kosher Barbie Comedy. I, I post all of my shows there, and uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of live comedy coming up in, in the state of California, which is the yeah. last to be on board with things opening. So things are looking up. Keep the faith yeah. and always be laughing, y'all. Okay, Cheers. you're the best, Jameson. I love you. Love you. Bye. 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 Go Texas. Texas pride. Woo! Yeah.